Hi, it's meteorologist Joe Pure in the Storm Team Weather Center. Wow, what a day. Temperatures right in line with the start of summer around the 21st of June. And when you look at what's going on around the country, uh, it's, it's very interesting to say the least. Uh, we have that one huge wildfire in New Jersey still continues to burn, only 60% contained. We've had some uh, scattered uh, brush fires around Connecticut. And many folks went south to get away from the chill and, and, and get to some nice warmth down there in Florida for spring break. Guess what? It's hotter here than it is down there at Fort Lauderdale. Over a foot of rain during the course of this afternoon. Thunderstorms stuck, those thunderstorms right down through Miami Beach. And the roadways in and out of Fort Lauderdale International Airport closed. Yes, it's just a an awful situation down there. Uh, so here in the 80s, we had a northwest flow today. 84 at Sikorsky, 83 at, uh, at New Haven. Uh, actually, I didn't check to see if that Sikorsky uh, number is, is in fact a, a record or not. Uh, we have uh, well, numbers uh, all across the state that were up in the 80s today. Uh, so just, just remarkable uh, weather situation. And uh, yes, uh, today was warmer uh, then uh, down in Florida, where temperatures were only in the mid 70s. You know what? The record high for today, 86 at the shore, 1977. So we didn't quite make it. All right, uh, we're making overnight lows where the high should be this time of year. Uh, we're in the 50s to around 60 to start Thursday. And then we're talking about highs 85 to 90 inland, 70s at the beaches. It will be a little bit more of a sea breeze uh, tomorrow. Uh, so that's why it's still delightful, 70s at the beaches. We're doing great. And uh, we're talking about the record high at Hartford, 86 tomorrow, set back in 1977, and certainly a good shot at that. Very mild temperatures uh, may stay above 60 in many spots going into Friday morning. And then highs up near 90 in Lynn, record shattering highs. The record's only 82 on Friday. We'll probably have that by noontime in Lynn. Uh, it's cooler. Uh, it's near 70 at the beaches, a real good sea breeze Friday afternoon. Uh, but you guys at the beach will soar through the 70s and then drop back in the afternoon. Saturday, 70s. Uh, near 70, lots of clouds, some sun overall. Saturday's good, but some showers arrive by evening. And bulk of the showers may be Saturday night, so that would be nice. Therefore, Sunday's mainly dry, mostly cloudy. Stay in the 60s, some showers on Monday, but no significant rain in sight. 55 to 60 tonight. Highs 85 to 90 inland tomorrow. We're in the mid to upper 70s at the beaches. It's a sunny, breezy, hot day. And uh, we're talking about, again, 70s at the beaches. 90 inland on Friday, record highs. And, and you know, the humidity's up a little bit more uh, for Thursday and Friday. The fire danger is still going to be high. May not be a red flag warning, but it's still high. Pollen count sky high. Allergy sufferers not liking it. Make sure the air conditioner is working. Make sure the sunscreen is on. The sun is strong. And watch out those water temperatures in the lakes, the rivers, the Long Island sounds very chilly. And you can end up in big trouble if, you're, if you fall in. 70s on Saturday and some showers Saturday night. Sunday's mainly dry. Temperatures back uh, to average uh, as we go into Sunday. Monday, Monday may have the most numerous showers, but the idea is that real April weather finally comes back for Sunday and next week. All right, Gil's back first thing on Thursday morning with the very latest update. Hope you're feeling well. Bye.